Hello, and we are looking at today, um, again, Elizabeth, and listen to her time, we're looking at why did Elizabeth have a poor relationship with her cousin? So, the year is 1568. Elizabeth has been on the throne for 10 years, but as it stands, she has no husband and she has no children. Now, there's probably some mums watching this who think that sounds great, but for Elizabeth, it's a bad thing because there's a threat from the north and that is from her cousin the Ma uh, Mary Queen of Scots who's Catholic and it has uh, and is a potential danger of overthrowing Elizabeth from the throne now don't get confused with Mary Tudor they are two different people Mary Queen of Scots is the cousin Mary Tudor was Elizabeth's older sister now Mary Queen of Scots had a troubled past, right? She was known as a great beauty, but had difficulty in keeping her husbands, mainly because they kept dying. She was once married to the King of France, who died in a freak riding accident. She then married an English lord who was strangled and blown up, just to make sure. Yeah. Soon after this, she married the man um, who was suspected of, <laughs> suspected of murdering her second husband. Not controversial at all, you might think. So, probably with good reason, the Scots were very suspicious of Mary and the connection to um, her second husband's death. And some people started rebelling against her. She was forced off her throne and it was given um, to her youngest son, James, who we'll hear a bit more about later. And he was made King of Scotland, James VI. So in 1568, she ran away to England, perhaps hoping that her cousin, uh, Queen Elizabeth, would take pity on her. So, you've been given quite a lot of information there. What I want you to do is rewind, go back, have a look at it, and I want you to come up with three facts about Mary, Queen of Scots, that summarise who she is. There is a worksheet attached in the Google Drive, so you can um, write the um, answers on that. Remember, as ever, you can pause and rewind as much as you want. Oh, and there it is. Pause and rewind as much as you want. So, second task then, right? You've got to imagine now that you're Elizabeth. You're Elizabeth in England and Mary has turned up and you've got three choices, yeah? You can either send Mary back to Scotland where potentially she could be killed by the rebels. You could put Mary in prison, but she's your cousin. Do you want to be putting your own cousin in prison? And some people would say she's a queen. Um, or would you allow Mary to carry on with life in England? You need to decide which you would choose and I want you to explain why on the worksheet that you have got. Bear in mind, Mary had immediately caused problems for Elizabeth. For a start, she was a Catholic and if you recall, Elizabeth was trying to um, resolve these um, religious problems that had been plaguing England for quite some time. And Mary made no secret of the fact that she thought she should be Queen of England instead of Elizabeth. Some English Catholics even agreed with her. Yeah, so you've got these types of things that you need to consider. So pause the video there and um, answer, the, answer that question. So Elizabeth's solution then was um, to keep Mary a prisoner. She would put her in prison until she could make up her mind what to do with her. And it took her a while. She was in prison for 19 years while Elizabeth tried to decide what she to do. Elizabeth was torn. She didn't want to execute Mary. Um, Mary. One, she was a cousin. Two, she was, um, a, you know, she was essentially the Queen of Scotland. So she would be murdering a monarch. Um, which was something that you would do, um, that you would have to really think about before you did it. And the two women never actually met during this time. Um, but eventually, Elizabeth was forced to take action against Mary when she discovered that Mary was involved in a plot to kill her. There were a number of plots to try and kill Elizabeth at this time. Um, and um, there's a few of them on my YouTube channel if you want to watch some videos about those different plots. But this was the final one that um, was the final uh, straw that brought the camels back. So it's called the Babington Plot. And in 1586, a young, rich Catholic man called Anthony Babington came up with a plan to kill Elizabeth. But obviously this had to be secret. 
He would organise six men to kill the English Queen, rescue Mary from a prison and make her the Queen of England. However, but before Babington could do the plot, he needed to know that he had Mary on board. He needed to know that Mary liked the idea. So he had to contact her in prison. So to do this, he got Mary's servants to hide secret letters in beer barrels that were taken to her room. And the letters were written in code. And crucially, Mary wrote back. So, these letters were intercepted. Um, Walsingham, um, who was Elizabeth's spy master, um, had found, he had a huge network of spies and he knew what was going on all along and he let it play out. And the, you know, the, the, um, the letter from the Queen was the smoking gun he needed to prove that she was involved. However, Elizabeth still didn't want to have her cousin executed. Um, eventually, William Davidson slipped the death warrant for the Mary Queen of Scots in among some papers that Elizabeth had to sign. Elizabeth pretended not to know what she was signing and signed it. But then she changed her mind and she ran to try and stop the execution, but it was too late. And Mary Queen of Scots was executed. So you've got on your worksheet there, you've got a code breaker um, and it's a response from Mary to Babington. Um, I want you to break the code and then answer the question on the worksheet provided on the Google Drive. So that brings us to the end of this short lesson on why Elizabeth had a poor relationship with her cousin, Mary Queen of Scots. Um, please, if you have any questions, email your relevant teacher. Uh, but until then, thank you very much. Goodbye.